Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm actually being shown there's like a spider trying to weave the web moving forward, but it's having a hard time because it's like fogged up. Um, so this is something for somebody who needs to know that if you feel that your path is kind of blocked right now, or if you feel like your energy is a bit fuzzy or, um, you know, kind of being dragged down by something around you, then there's a message here about this, which we'll see what it is. We have the nine of pentacles. And we have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. I'm hearing that song by Coldplay, Paradise. Paradise. Okay, what else, Spirit? Tell me a little bit more about this message for whoever this is for. And now I'm being taken to the Heart Chakra. We have the Tower, okay? And the Eight of Cups is at the bottom. So there's maybe this message is about this confusion around your heart chakra because for me the nine of pentacles is a very you know solo kind of energy but it's also somebody who has their stuff together somebody who's going to be putting a lot of work and dedication towards being the best version of themselves which is why i'm getting like kind of an element of self-care they're showing me that a square cannot fit into a circle so i feel like what spirit's saying with this with the eight of cups is that if you do feel that you are in the wrong space of your life it could be a wrong relationship or job or if you feel like you have to squeeze yourself i think there's a quote too that says something about that like you don't feel like you have to squeeze yourself if you're square or whatever it is into a circle basically meaning that you have to be yourself and if there's anything coming up here for you where you feel that you are not being the best version of yourself or you're not allowed kind of to be the best version of yourself or if something's making you feel that way this is for somebody who might need to know that and it could be connected to the heart chakra because i had just seen the two of cups here beneath the eight of cups so i feel like this is this is for somebody, for most of you, if this is for you, you are single or you have recently become single. So if you have just went through a breakup, this could be for you. Or if you have, you know, been single for maybe a while, for a long time. Um, there's something drawing me with this water here too. Again, about cleansing with the Eight of Cups. Um, it feels I'm hearing look beyond, look beyond the scope or look beyond the horizon. So this is with this Nine of Pentacles here too. Um, what is this tower here for though? What is this tower here for? The Empress. And we have the Devil at the bottom. Yeah, this is what's connected to this. So there's somebody connected to you or there's something connected to you which is causing that cloud. Which So for some of you, um, again, if this does connect with you, you may have been feeling that there's been something around you or like a negative energy around you or maybe just like a heaviness around your life. Um, could be connected to a certain person or situation which you know what that is. And I'm almost seeing with the tower here that obviously it's important that you do cleanse yourself of that or that you walk away from that if possible. Um, and I feel like there's something much better for you or there's something kind of wanting to lead you forward or, or take your hand and take you further somewhere. And that is a message. For some, this is about your career or work, I'm hearing. And if you feel like you've been in a job or a situation which has not allowed you to grow um, or to kind of move up the ladder somehow, then this is also referring to that where I feel like they want you to go with the flow. We have self-love is truly the key to harmonious relationships and manifestations. Spend some quality time with yourself right now and work on truly loving and valuing all parts. Put you first. So with the Empress coming up and the Nine of Pentacles, again, I'm getting that this message is definitely for someone who needs to put yourself first right now, to prioritize self-care, prioritize self-love. And I'm hearing something about a habit, like a circling around habit that you may have been having. Um, so this could be like a repetitive cycle that you've been in and that eight of cups here is saying that you deserve more. So someone needs to know that you deserve more 
And I do want to confirm maybe what this is about. It might be different for a lot of you. It could be something where it could be relationship, love. I think for most of you, it's connected to your heart chakra. So maybe even taking some time to nourish your heart chakra, do things that bring you joy, um, connect with others maybe that can uplift you and just really nurture, nurture yourself in that way because it could be that there's other relationships or kind of new relationships. And I'm being told that if this is for you, there's somebody specific in your life or there's a specific pattern which you've been giving multiple chances to or it's been kind of like leopards don't change their spots I'm hearing. So if you've been like wondering if somebody is going to change or someone's going to be different than they were last time, it's probably not the case here. Um, and I feel like this is what they're referring to with the evil eye and the bicycle ride because the bicycle ride is essentially in this way taking you somewhere else or taking you down a path which we will um, be better off going down that path so this is for a certain like a cycle or habit that you've been involved in for a while i feel and um yes we have goddess vibes don't be afraid to be different so yeah there's a square fitting into the circle allow your inner goddess to radiate after you meet her you'll never be the same honor the divine feminine so yeah this is definitely for a lot of you who do have divine feminine energy and you may feel that that part of you wants to come out more or wants to kind of awaken more and i feel like this is something where don't be afraid to be different. So the Tower and the Eight of Cups could require you right now in whatever way that's going to be for you to really do something quite different or dramatic that you have not done before. Whether it's leaving a long-term relationship that has been this kind of person's not changing or whether it's... Um, you know, doing something in business or your career, which is very different than where you... what you've been kind of used to. This will all be worth it um, and I feel like this is something which you're getting closer to this decision so you may have been thinking about this for a while or you may have been kind of almost like sawing off something for a long time like you've been working on this either consciously or something subconsciously has been sawing down so that it's narrow enough for you to fit through that circle you know like it's kind of like you're a, it's kind of a strange way analogy but like you're the square here or you're some diamond, a diamond shape, and you're trying to fit into the circle, which can be like a pathway of some sort, but you haven't been able to fit in because you haven't accepted yourself, sort of, or there's been energies around you which have not allowed you to fit through that circle. And so it's like something has been sawing down, which could be in different ways. It could be that you've been, again, like the sawing could represent that you've been making changes steadily in your life. The sawing could represent that there's people being cut out of your life or needing to be cut out of your life in order for you to fit through that pathway or that circle, which can kind of take you into a different direction. Here's the two of cups also. So yeah, there is something about love here. Love wins. No matter how long it takes, true love always wins. Cupid's love brew is being made special just for you to win your heart. So I'm seeing this is like a secret. I'm hearing like top secret for some reason. Let me actually confirm this. What is this love wins in the two of cups? Because it's either something which has like been preserved or I should say reserved for you on a soul level, which you currently, if this resonates with you, you haven't found it yet or you haven't aligned to them yet or you haven't met them yet. But it's something where like, again, if you kind of go through that, if you accept yourself as a diamond and you move through that path, then this two of cups, love will always win in the end. So it's a feeling where kind of gives me like Archangel Michael energy too with the wing, the blue wings. And I actually did hear something about blue when I started the reading. I forgot to mention it. So blue could be like an important um, color or you know could be Archangel Michael or throat chakra something about blue and I also heard Goldilocks so I don't know if that is again something special for you but or somebody here could have gold or blonde hair but of course it doesn't have to be just for you but um what is this love wins and the two of cups here what is this top secret energy what is what do you what's that the Emperor 
Yeah, there's somebody who, interesting, Ten of Swords. There's definitely somebody who's very into you. I'm almost getting, it's like a, <laughs> it's like somebody sees you as a snack here. I'm going to read this card in a moment, but it's, it's kind of connected to all of this here. But let me just get a little bit more for this. What is this Two of Cups, Love Wins all about? Tell me a little bit more. Because there's definitely like a connection which is waiting for you or there's somebody. Okay, tell me a little bit more. The Emperor, Two of Cups, Love Wins. What is this? We have Picture Perfect. Desiring marriage and family, building a stable life, financially secure, wanting it all. And what's really interesting is at the bottom here we have kind of the evil eye, jealous intentions, dark magic, spell work, a manipulative person, backstabbing an ex of your partner, someone is jealous of you. So let me see what's going on here. Ten of Swords is also at the bottom. So there's definitely something confirmed with this evil eye. Um, if this is reversed for some of you, then take it that way. If it's somebody who's connected to a person of yours, then it could be that way. But I just keep seeing something here to do with like you. I, I believe, I mean, this is you. Yes, this, this is you here, the Empress, the viewer. And it's like you're swimming in deep water and you can't seem to find your way out of that water. So there's definitely some cycle that you've been in or there's some like difficult or devilish kind of karmic cycle or you've been, I don't know if it's your thoughts, anxieties, if it's something connected directly to a person, if you've been attached to somebody like this, but whatever it is, it's been causing you to drown kind of, which is why the message has come up here to definitely take care of yourself here at the moment. Because I feel like this top secret energy there's some very spiritual connection with the Two of Cups, which is on the other end of that tunnel. Um, and I think that with this Emperor here, for some reason I'm seeing somebody snoop, or I'm hearing the word snooping, and I'm seeing something about perspective, the hangman, looking for information. So I'm not sure how this connects, if this is... Okay, tell me a little bit more, Spirit. What is this picture perfect, the Emperor? How does this connect to the reading? Is this somebody new coming in? Is this perfect stranger? So a sudden meeting, instantaneous sparks, everything in common, the start of an adventure, charming smile. So it definitely could be somebody new. It definitely could be somebody new that's about to enter your life and that's something that you need to hear. What is this jealous intention though? What is this jealous intention? Because we also have here hot tea at the bottom. Juicy details, the cat is out of the bag. What is this jealous intention? How does this connect? Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm getting sort of two groups here. So just take what's going to resonate. But there's one group of you where you have been, there's maybe from somebody connected, like a friend of yours. It could be a friend. It could be, it could be various people that have been either jealous of you or who have been kind of somehow keeping you feeling like this four of cups nine of wands it's like there's been some barrier here to you finding love or having your happy happily ever after there's something about that i just don't know who it is i'm not sure if it's like a friend of yours or if it's something here where it's connected to a person who you are connected to Because they keep showing me that journey again at the end of the journey at the end of the long journey this is where you're finding this emperor this two of cups it's like love wins at the end of the game so 
take again this how this will resonate but if you've been feeling that you've been trying to hang in there with the nine of wands things have been very difficult in your love life maybe it's a current situation and you feel like this is something where like however that's going to be you feel like your situation feels like it's um a constant battle because of people trying to interfere in your connection or because of jealous exes or whoever those people are in the end love will win is the message coming up but in the meantime taking care of yourself prioritizing yourself is obviously the, the message coming up and that's why it's coming up as like a secret of some sort like a top secret because it's a feeling of they want you to honor that you're different than this other person if there's like an ex involved again this is kind of confusing but if there's like a third party situation maybe for some of you or if it's something to where you're aware that there's people who don't like your connection that you're currently in or you're aware that there's people who don't agree with someone that you want to be with or there's something of that kind of nature coming up they want you to keep being kind of different and unique and being yourself don't feel like you have to go down to the level that other people are operating from just to have what you think just to sort of it's like whatever is supposed to be yours is already yours so there's just something about you kind of going in your own tunnel here with that reference of the diamond fitting into the circle and if you were to stay a square like everybody else or whatever shape you can use with the shapes here too if you were to stay the same as everyone else or if you were to be on the same vibrational wavelength as the people who might be keeping this it's it's basically like there's a situation or there's energies around you which if you're not protecting or cleansing or just being keeping your vibration high can somehow drag you down or can somehow make you think less of yourself um, whether it's just energetically happening or it's actually physically you know that you're around these people um, and if it's a uh, connected to like a person who you're connected to in love currently there's just something about like the more that you stay true to yourself the more that you step into this goddess energy that's actually how you're going to move away from the, that situation or move away from those lower vibra vibrations because they are all going to stay kind of in this four of cups sort of complacent um, numb kind of energy so if you've been feeling rejected if you feel like you know this situation has made you feel rejected because of these toxic people or because of these jealous exes or third parties or other people um it, it's it's kind of like they are encouraging you here to keep going keep persevering with the nine of wands don't let that let you give up on love um because you being different is actually like a gift you know so maybe you kind of feel maybe there's been sort of energies coming up within you lately where you've been feeling a bit insecure maybe about who you are or maybe there's just uh it's human nature sometimes to compare ourselves to other people or to whatever that looks like for you but i feel like it's connected to your heart chakra and relationships so if that's something that you resonate with i feel like they want you to know again that love always wins it's kind of like one of those movies where i can't think of one on the top of my head a specific movie but where like in the end the main character who was who was either teased or who was um kind of like uh, mean girls i guess is like one movie coming to me you know i can't remember the names of the characters when i channel i can't i can't think of like anything but um there's a feeling of that kind of energy where if you've been either teased or if you've been put in a situation like that you're actually going to be the one that gets the prize at the end of all of it even if it appears like somebody else is going to get it or even if it appears like you know you haven't been deserving of it it's it's only because you being your true self is what you're supposed to be doing you know so the emperor is going to be yours at the end love always wins for you at the end 
and whoever it's going to be, I don't know. I mean, it could be this is a current partner or somebody who you know who this is, but it could also very well be this new connection that like, you know, you're going to be the one who has what other people are not going to have anymore because they approached it from a low vibration, if that makes sense. So it's, it's definitely like you're winning in the end. Like you're going to be very happy in the end when you get this person, get the situation. Um, and with the perspective here in the hanged man, it's just a matter of how you view the situation. You can view it from this way or this way. You know, you can kind of see it from, um, again, the lens that you didn't win because you either didn't get the person that you wanted specifically or because um, you know somebody else took them or however that will again connect it feels like there's just something yes so stay optimistic about your love life they want you to stay optimistic become this goddess especially for those of you who are divine feminines watching this it feels like i'm hearing know your own worth um, know your own worth. So yeah, it's like any rejection that you've had, even if it involves painful gossip coming out, even if it involves things that are currently happening or may be happening in the near future, um, and it could sting or, you know, it could hurt. It could feel again, like depending on how you view the situation that, you know, let's just say that you like you wanted something or you wanted someone and then you find out some news that is not going to to allow that to happen or it's already been something where this is a drama filled situation it just feels like that here but this could all just be happening on like a subtle level too some of you this is just energetically speaking where um like from your higher self level you know you are the empress and when you are somebody who's very high vibrational when you are this divine feminine you can be susceptible to um negativity which is why that evil eye came up so if you have like an evil eye uh, necklace or pendant or something you may want to kind of have that around here the next few days or so or carry that around just because it feels like your light can attract a lot of people. Your light can attract um, lower vibrations and your light can obviously attract higher vibrations, but there's just something about currently right now that if you feel that, you know, you know that you're a good person, you know that you're this empress, but something hasn't gone your way or something hasn't gone uh, the way that you wanted it to, you know, or there's even just other people who are getting things that you don't, you know, that could be too. Again, your soulmate is yours. Your soulmate is somebody who is either currently in your life, somebody who is about to, to be entered into your life, and it's all going to like make sense because your soulmate is this emperor, this picture perfect, love will win again in the end is, is the main message here. So, so love yourself first, and this could be the one. Okay, so let me just get a final card here. Is there anything else, Spirit, for this reading? We have learn the lesson. Learn the lesson from your breakup, even though it may seem darn near impossible to find a silver lining. Give yourself time and dig deep. So if this was a breakup, since we have the tower here, obviously, because I'm either getting it already happened or there could be a tower moment in the future. Um, or for those of you, it's more of like you having to pull the plug on something and let the tower fall. But if this is like a breakup, um, the lesson here is, is that, you know, again, with the rainbow hair, something about it gives me the impression too of you rising above it, you being somebody who naturally holds a lot of wisdom and light. So seeing it from a different perspective there is a silver lining here at the bo bottom we have spotlight you are about to be in the spotlight whether it's your man only having eyes for you or your career finally taking off expect to get a lot of attention yeah so definitely if this resonates with you with the empress here too you are definitely somebody who is naturally getting a lot of attention or you will soon get a lot of attention like it says here either career or love as well um 
And I'm saying for someone specific, if you are getting situated into like a new town, a new job, a new relationship even, uh, that's something confirming too that you're going to be getting situated and settling in. Or maybe when you get situated. Okay, so last card. Oh, and this card over here, it says, organize and reprioritize your schedule. Finding a routine in which you can feel safe, secure, and productive will be beneficial for your mental health and overall well-being. Fine tune and refocus. So yeah, like with the settling in message here too, I feel like, um, especially if you're kind of like in the middle of a change right now with that tower, it could be a breakup or it could be that you need to kind of reprioritize what you're putting your energy into and maybe you feel a bit maybe you feel a bit numb or maybe you feel a bit like void because you don't know you're like in, in an in-between energy you know as you transition maybe from one situation to the next it kind of it's like an like an apartment that has no furniture um and now you can kind of decorate it but it could feel sometimes again that you are feeling a bit sad or feeling a bit down because you didn't think that things have been going your way in love or otherwise. But like I said, it feels like this is going to, love will win in the end of this. So just be yourself. So final message here for the viewer. We have your psychic abilities are evolving and awakening. You may experience visions, vivid dreams, or hear audible messages from spirit. You are ready for this. Let go of the fear. So you actually might be um, having a lot of gifts awaken right now within you. And you actually could be feeling, if, if that message is for you too, where you've been feeling some cloud around you, some confusion, or even people sending you the evil eye, um, or just energies which kind of can make you feel like you're being held back, uh, you might be actually either seeing that in dreams or feeling that intuitively. Um, and since you could be an empath as well, and I think that's going together with the message as well of just not just knowing who you are, knowing that you're gifted, knowing that you're this empress, knowing that you are rising above that. At the bottom, we have silence is the best answer at this time. If someone is waiting for a response or if you are going back and forth on communicating or movement, let things be for now. Sit in silence and wait for the dust to settle. So yeah, that tower, it's kind of like, you know, if a building falls, there's a lot of dust, it will, it will, um, you know, create a lot of dust in the air. So you may want to let something settle. I think I said settle to settling in. So yeah, this this could be something which will happen like in a little bit of time. I don't know the time frame exactly, but maybe in a while or in a few weeks or a few months when things settle down, if it was a breakup or an ending or a change in your life um, or something which has happened here, it will kind of be, you know, when this dust settles, this is when the love will win somehow will we'll kind of come in here. So I will leave it here. I hope that this message could resonate with whoever it's meant for. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know if you like how it connected with you and sending you all lots of love. And I will talk to you next time.